10 Spelling Activities for English Class Spelling games provide students with a fun way to learn new words, remember words over a longer period of time, and they give students an understanding of how words are formed. In today's video, I will share 10 fun spelling games that you can use in your class. Spelling Tic-Tac-Toe Draw a big tic-tac-toe grid on the board. Make two teams and assign a board marker to each. One person from each team comes to the front of class. Give them a word to spell. First one to write it out correctly gets to place an X or an O. Each team only gets either three O's or three X's. Once they've placed all three, each round after that, they place it in a new spot until someone wins. Spelling Word Relay Here is an energetic spelling game to play with large classes. Divide the students into teams. Each team stand in a line in front of the board. Hold up a flashcard or a picture of the word you want the teams to spell. The first student in each team runs to the board and writes the first letter of the word. The student then runs back to their team and tags the next person who runs back to the board and writes the next letter and so on. If a student makes a mistake, the next student can correct it, but they cannot write another letter. The first team to spell the word correctly scores a point. Play several rounds. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. Back draw. Arrange the class into teams of equal size. Have the teams sit down in rows facing the board. There are two actions that the students need to know before playing the game. Tapping the shoulder means to repeat the spelling. Nodding the head means OK, continue. Show a different word with the same number of letters to the students at the back of each row. That student draws the word letter by letter on the back of the person in front of them. If the student in front of them knows the letter, they can nod their head. If they are unsure, they can tap their shoulder so that the student can rewrite the letter on their back. This continues until the word is complete. Then the next student draws the word onto the back of the person in front of them. When the word reaches the person at the front of the line, the student stands up and writes it on the board. The first team to spell their word correctly scores a point. The student at the front then moves to the back and everyone moves up one space. The game continues with a new word and so on. Make sure that each student gets a chance to write the final word on the board. Blind speed spell. Divide the students into four teams. Invite one player from each team to come to the front of class. Give each player a marker or chalk and have them put on a blindfold. You can perhaps use a face mask to put over their eyes. Have teammates stand the players a meter or two away from the board. Say a word you want the players to write out. The players then have to find their way to the board and race to spell the word as quickly as they can. You can also have the players spin around a few times beforehand and have their teammates direct them to the board. The first player to spell the word correctly in a readable format scores three points for their team. The second player scores two points and the third player scores one point. A new player from each team comes to the front and the game continues with a new word. Continue the game until everyone has had a chance to play. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. For higher level students, you can give them sentences to write. Flower power. Draw three flowers on the board. Each flower should have six petals. Write a letter in the center of each flower and write one letter on each petal of the flower. The three flowers should contain different letters. Divide the students into three teams and have each team stand in line facing their flower. The first player from each team runs to the board and writes a word beginning with the center letter and containing a letter from one of the petals. The player then runs back to their team and the next student goes to the board and writes another word beginning with the center letter and containing a letter from one of the other petals. The game continues until one team has written a word for all six petals. Each team scores one point for every letter in a correctly spelt word. Play several rounds using different letters 
each time. Spelling Bee. Little kids can participate in a Spelling Bee game without the pressure of competition. This elementary spelling game is for young learners. One student is the bee and buzzes around the room while the other students chant buzz buzz spelling bee you can't sting me. The bee stops behind a desk and the teacher gives that student a word to spell. If the bee spells it correctly he or she sits down and the new student is the bee. If the bee gets it wrong the whole class spells the word out together. Continue until every student has had a chance to spell. For older students a spelling bee is a classic game to review words from vocabulary lists. Divide your class into two teams and let them line up. Give one word at a time to each student, alternating teams. If the student spells the word correctly she goes to the end of the line until her turn comes up again. If she spells the word incorrectly she sits down. The last team standing wins. Students who are eliminated must play along by writing out each new word called Invisible Man. Split the class into two or three teams. Draw a stick man for each. Call out a word for the first member of the team to spell. If they spell it correctly they may erase one body part from the other team's stick person. Then call a word for the next team. Continue until only one team stick man is left. Teams can also challenge one another by asking them to spell out a word. They can create their own list of words so that you don't have to. They call out a word for the other team to spell. Group spelling. Students stand in a circle. One student says a word. Going around the circle each student adds a letter to spell the word. Whoever makes a mistake sits down. You can also do something similar with a ball. Students sit in a circle. Toss it to a learner who calls out a word then tosses it to another student to spell. That student finishes and tosses to someone else. Word jump. Write words on paper plates. Call out a word and the first student to step on that word wins. You can also place paper plates on the ground with letters on. Call out a word and a student hops on the letters to spell it out. Like hopscotch. Spelling bingo. Students write out 10 words. Write the alphabet on the word. Each time you cross out a letter, students cross out that letter on the word in their list. The first person to have all their words crossed out wins. Watch this next video for 10 vocabulary activities you can use in your class. I'm Eric from Edicude and I'll see you next time.